Now, university students joining first year can enroll without uh, immediate fee payment. Education CS Julius Amigos Ogamba has directed unconditional admission and accommodation support for students, saying the government has released about 2.8 billion shillings for scholarships and 5.2 billion shillings for their loans. Now, students unable to determine their household contributions will also be helped to do so. The Chief Justice Martha Kome has also added her voice on the matter, criticizing the funding model, saying it does not benefit the intended students. Thousands of new university students joining institutions this week will be relieved from the burden of clearing their fees before admission. This after CS Education Julius Ogamba directed vice chancellors to admit qualified students unconditionally and assist them with accommodation even if they cannot pay immediately. The chief of staff, Felix Kuzgei, revealed that the government has already released $2.8 billion for university scholarships to the university fund and $5.2 billion to the Higher Education Loans Board for students' loans. $2.8 billion have been wired to university fund. For loans, $5.2 billion has been wired to help. So let us leave this information, propaganda, and the quest for regime change for things that are, 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 are sorted. Students unable to calculate their household contribution will be permitted to enroll with the institution's help to determine it later, P.S. Inyangala says. We encourage you to go to the university to report. The vice chancellors will receive you. And when that amount has been determined, then you'll be expected to pay according to the policy of the university. However, Chief Justice Mother Kuome criticized the new university funding program, saying the strategy is unfair as the intended beneficiaries are not gaining. But a child who has qualified to go to the university can be there crying, saying, look, I've been put in bad five. Is it bad five? when I ought to be in bad one, and therefore I cannot afford to go to the university. And when you follow, you find the person, the child of a well-to-do family has been put in bad one. And Musungu News, Nairobi. All right, before we take the break, let's remind you of our big question tonight. A list of political life granted by the court, albeit temporary, and a resounding decision from the county assembly affirmed by none other than the senate this is the basis of our bq tonight and we are asking you do you agree with senate's decision to impeach Meru governor kawira mongaza do you believe the senate has made the right call when they confirmed the impeachment of the governor continue sending us your contribution beginning with a yes or no answer your name of course and a brief explanation indicating where you are SMSing from the number is 22151 taggers at ktn news ke at ken we will definitely be sampling some of your comments during this live newscast after the break the rule of law and impeachment lawyer Njirundegwa draws the line 